Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about place value. We will learn about the written and expanded form of numbers. A number written in word form is a number that is written using words. Here we have a number written in standard form. The word form of this number is 1253. One way to write a number in word form is by placing the number in a place value chart. For example, we will place the number 1,375 in the place value chart starting from the lowest value to the highest or greatest value. Now that we have placed the numbers in the correct place, we will begin to write the number. We will start with the number in the greatest place. In this example, it is the number one because it is in the thousands place. To write, we will start by writing out the word form for the number one. Now, since the one is in the thousands place, we will write thousand behind it. There is one thousand. The next number we will work with is the number three. We will write that in word form. The number three is in the hundreds place, so the word hundred goes behind it, followed by the last two numbers together, 75. Let's look at this example. How is the number 3,482 written in word form? Remember that word form means to write numbers using words. To write the number in word form, we will start by placing the digits in the number inside the place value chart. We will start with the 2, 8, 4, and 3. To write the number in word form, start with the first number, 3, followed by 1,000, because it is in the thousands place. Afterwards, add a comma. Then write the number 4, followed by the word 100 because it is in the hundreds place. Then write the next two numbers, 82. So the word of form is 3,482. How is the number 6,936 written in word form? Remember that word form means to write using numbers. To write the number in word form, we will start by placing the digits in the number inside the place value chart. To write the number in word form, start with the first number because it is the greatest value, 6, followed by the word thousand because it is in the thousands place. Don't forget the comma after thousand. Then write the number nine, followed by the word hundred because it is in the hundreds place. Finally, the last two numbers, 36. Now we're going to look at what the value of the digits in a number represent or mean. Let's look at the number 2,654. To determine the value of the digits in the number 2,654, we are going to place them in a place value chart, starting from the lowest value to the highest or greatest value. We are now going to place the digits inside the place value chart. Now that we have our numbers in our place value chart, we will represent these digits using base 10 blocks. We will start with the two in the thousands place. Since there are two in the thousands place, we will use two 1,000 blocks. To determine the value of the two in the thousands place, we will count each block by 1,000. 1,000, 2,000. So the value of the two in the thousands place is 2,000. The next number we're going to look at is the number six. To determine the value, we are going to place base 10 blocks to represent the 6 in the hundreds place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six. Now we are going to count each of the hundreds blocks by 100 to determine the value of the six. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. The value of the six is 600. Now let's look at the number five. We are going to place five ten blocks. One, two, three, four, five. To determine the value of the five in the tens place, we will count each block by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. The value of the five is 50. The next number we're going to look at is the number four in the ones place. We will represent the number four using base 10 blocks. One, two, three, four. To determine the value of the four, we will count each of the blocks by ones. One, two, three, four. So the value of the four is four. Let's look at another example. What is the value of the digits in the number 2341? First, we are going to place the digits inside a place value chart, starting from the lowest to the greatest value. Next, we will build the number using base 10 blocks. 2 for the 2,000, 3 100 blocks, 4 tens, and 1 1. Then we will count the thousands blocks to determine the value of the 2. 1,000, 2,000. So the value of the 2 in the 2,000s place is 2,000. Now we will count the hundreds blocks to determine the value of the three in the hundreds place. 100, 200, 300. The value of the three is 300. Next we will count the 10 blocks to determine the value of the four in the tens place. 10, 20, 30, 40. The value of the four is 40. Finally, the value of the one is one because there's only one block there. A number that is written in expanded form is written as the sum of the place values of each digit. Let's look at exactly what this means. Let's say I need to write the number 1842 in expanded form. To do this, I will start by placing each digit inside of a place value chart. Once the digits are inside the place value chart, I will sketch or build them using base 10 blocks. Afterwards, I'm going to determine the value of each of these digits. I'm going to use the values followed by a plus to write the number in expanded form. 1000. The value of the one in the thousands place is 1000. That is the first number in my expanded form. Plus, now I'm going to figure out the value of the 8 in the hundreds place. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. 800 is the next number in my expanded form. Plus, now I'm going to figure out the value of the 4 in the tens place. 10, 20, 30, 40 plus 40 would be the next number in my expanded form, plus the value of the two in the ones place, one, two. The value of the two is two. 1,000 plus 800 plus 40 plus two is the number 1,842, because when you add these, the sum equals to 1,842. Write the number 3,419 in expanded form. To write this number in expanded form, we will place each digit inside a place value chart. Then we will build each of these digits using base 10 blocks. Next. Starting from the greatest place value, we will determine the value of the digit by counting the base 10 blocks. Starting with the 3, we will count to see what is the value 
1,000, 2,000, 3,000. 3,000 is the value of the 3. That is our first number in expanded form. Plus, the value of the 4 in the hundreds place is 100, 200, 300, 400. That is the next number. Plus, the value of the 1 in the tens place, 10. Plus, the value of the 9 in the nines place, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The number 3419 written in expanded form is 3000 plus 400 plus 10 plus 9. So in expanded form, you are adding the value of each of the digits. Today we learned how to write numbers in word form and expanded form. We also learned how to tell the value of a digit using a place value chart and base 10 blocks. Thank you everyone for listening and have a wonderful day.